I'm Mark from Spike and Z Labs. I'm here to talk about one of our new kits. It's the Telegraph Decoder. Back when I was a kid and you wanted to do a DIY way of communicating with somebody, it usually looked like this. Two tin cans and a string. You'd sort of talk into it like this. Didn't work so well. I then tried making a Morse code machine with a piece of magnet wire and a nail and a little piece of metal that would go click, but I could never tell what the beeps and boops were that were coming out of it. So, our kit will solve that. This is a telegraph decoder. It decodes telegraph signals and displays it on a 16 segment LED display. So you type in a letter and the letter appears. Now what do you need to type it in? You need our telegraph key. This is a laser cut key. It comes in the kit. So you get both of these parts in the kit and a piece of wire to connect them together. Um, you can get the kit as either a nice retail box with a colorful sticker or our traditional bagged version, it's a little bit less expensive. Come on closer, we'll show you how the actual telegraph works. Okay, so when you first turn on the telegraph decoder, it displays our, our logo here, Spike, on it. Uh, and as soon as you start typing something, the uh, letter is replaced by whatever you've just typed. So, here we're going to try the most traditional Morse code that everybody seems to know. See, I'm just going to do SOS. So, that's three dots. S comes up, and then three dashes. Got an O, and then another S. There. This, this mode that it's in right now is just the standard mode. Whatever you type in or key in will be displayed on the display. Uh, it also has a repeat function. Um, and to get that mode started, you press down on the key, and you switch it on. You'll notice that the decimal point blinked a couple of times, now it's ready for repeat mode. So if we type something in, it'll play the message back to us. So let me try typing in my name here. So after a couple of seconds, it should automatically start replaying my name. That means it's starting, and here we go. Now, if we type something else in, it will display whatever we type in next, uh, and if we don't, it'll just power down in about 30 seconds or so. Don't know Morse code? Don't worry about it. The kit comes with a little cheat sheet with all the Morse code typed onto it.